Yo, what's good guys? It is JD here. Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Nobody's Road to Glory and a video that I never, ever thought I'd be making. You can see by the title, you can see by the thumbnail. We've done it. We have gone 12 and 0 and picked up Galaxy Opal Kevin McHale on our No Money Spent account. Still hard to believe, still trying to process what has gone down. I, I, yeah, see, just lots of words. We're going to talk about how the run went, talk about the team that I used, talk about the tactics that I've used, I guess. Uh, and of course, Ken McHale, we've got to badge him out, we've got to put a diamond shoe on him, we've got to make him look good. And we have sold the man he's replacing, which was Amethyst Dino Rajas. We've got a lot of MT to cash in today as well, but yeah. What? 12-0? Me? I don't understand how, but it's happened. Let's jump into this video, boys. If you are new to the channel, make sure you go ahead and subscribe for daily streams and daily videos. And a huge thank you to the goats of the channel, Eric, Jason, Cody, Spooky, Caleb, Andrew, Josh, Hammer, and a special shout out to my guy, Aiden. Also, another day, another level. I forgot to say that. We are level 39 now. No, we're not. We're 38. Level 39 up next. So we're getting close. We're closing in on Kawhi. 16k for level 39, 35k for Kawhi Leonard. And how have we got there? Well, nine games of Unlimited have been played, so that was a nice little bit of XP. And then other than that, I don't think there's any other challenges that we have done. Um, we haven't even done our daily stuff today, but don't worry, I will be doing so. So maybe Sunday for the Hall of Fame badge? Definitely this weekend we'll be able to get that 16k because we've still got the spotlight to finish, which is another 1800. Obviously, we've got our dailies every day, which is a nice little 400. And then ugh, nobody else I really want here. Maybe we'll buy Yarnis. One, to use Yarnis. And two, to get 2,500 XP. We'll see what XP comes out tomorrow with new moments cards. And then, of course, Friday with the win the weekend, new promo, etc. And as for today, there was no new content, which you hate to see, but it is what it is. Right, unlimited boys. I can't believe this has happened. 67 and 12 record for the season. And let me give you a little bit of a rundown about how my year has gone in unlimited. Season one in unlimited, we played five games, I think. Season two, we got to the emerald tier and no higher. I didn't get myself out of the emerald tier in season two. Season three, we gave it one go. And we managed to get ourselves through the diamond tier, 9-0. Through the pink diamond tier, 11-0. And, and also through the amethyst tier, 9-0. And, um, and then we got ourselves the galaxy opal tier. Played our first game. Lost our first game. So that was it. Coming into this season, we'd never won a game in the galaxy opal tier. This season, we go into the diamond tier. We lose our first game. I'm 0-1 in the diamond tier. So I need to go 9-2 to clutch it out. We go 9-0. We go into the pink diamond tier. We go 11-0. We go straight into the Galaxy Opal tier. We go 12 and 0. I haven't had a, I haven't had a run where I've had to reset at all. 67 wins, I believe, is the shortest amount of distance it takes to get Kevin McHale. And I managed to do that? I don't understand how. In terms of how that 12 and 0 run went, so we played three games, I think like last week or something. We played one game in video a few days ago. And then last night over on Twitch, we did eight games in under two hours. We were absolutely on fire. We got on a roll. We just kept going. And in total, throughout my 12 0 run, I played up against three people who had already got Galaxy Opal Kevin McHale. Now, I'm not saying I had an easy run. My run wasn't that bad, but we did come up against three people who already had the 12 and 0 reward. And now I'm one of those people. What? I can't believe it. So, yesterday I did uh, record. We were live streaming the whole thing. So if you do want to watch that, the whole thing is on my Twitch, twitch.tv slash JD underscore crossover. But I'm going to insert a clip now uh, of some highlights of the final game and then me opening up the pack for Galaxy Over Kevin McHale. All right, guys, let's do this. 66 and 12, 84% win percentage. We've gone from 4 and 0 to 11 and 0 in an hour and a half. Michael, thank you for the follow. In an hour and a half, we've got ourselves seven wins on the board. We've got an opponent. Let's go. Spitfire, thank you for the 100 bits, man. Okay. I'm not celebrating. No, no, no. Let's not celebrate just yet. Let's not celebrate just yet. Let's not celebrate just yet. Claudius, thank you for the 12 bits, man. You can only beat what's put in front of you. He's only got one opal. No, he's got two opals. Baron Davis and Anton Jameson. 
My heart's beating. My heart is beating very, very fast right now. In this run, we have played against three people with Kevin McHale. We have beat every single one of those people with Kevin McHale. And it all comes down to this. Bobby Jones, I need you now more than ever, my friend. Rudy Fernandez, we need that. Bobby Jones! This guy is on another goddamn planet. I never really take threes with him that aren't in the corner, and I shouldn't have taken that shot, but we did, and it went in. So I will take it. Oh my god, what a three that was. Okay, that was big. That was very nice. We like that. But you know, you don't know. He doesn't know about Bobby Jones, guys. He don't know about Bobby Jones. He tried to score on Bobby Jones. That's adorable. Rudy Fernandez, take the easy two, bro. Take the easy two. We'll take that. Come on. Seven followers away from 9k. Jeez. We're going to get 9k and a 12 and a... Dwayne Wade, come on. Dwayne, I see you. That was a really bad catch. He's going to have a bit of space here. He's bricked it, but Rudy Fernandez with a huge rebound. Out to Anton Jameson. That one is green. Rudy Fernandez said a green ain't enough. Anton Jameson back to back. He's not quite, but Bobby Jones is there. Oh my God, Bobby Jones is so good. Bobby Jones, you're so good. Rudy Fernandez to the rim. This guy needs a timeout. And we're up by 11. Anton Jameson was shot a lot with him. Now we're going to take it to the rim. Up by 11 still. Dino Raja. And that's Dwayne Wet. Oh, I thought he was going to dip. I thought he was going to be out of here. Jameson. Ball. Oh, no. I thought he was going to be out again. Bad shot. Bad shot. Rebounds. Twos are good. Threes are better. Anton Jameson with a huge three right there. There's a big steal right there. Jameson back to Wade. We take a green light. That puts it up to 25. 21 points off turnovers. My goodness, that is absurd. 21, that's an eight second. Let's go. We've more than doubled his score so far in this game. It's pretty embarrassing. I'm not going to lie. Uh, it's, it's very embarrassing. But hey, if you want to stick in this game, then, then go for it. Maybe he is playing for his XP. But I don't think you'd be playing this salty if it was just for XP. Not going to lie. He likes pauses. I think he's gonna. I think he's gonna regret liking the pauses in the not too distant future. I think he's going to regret doing the pauses in the not-too-distant future. <laughs> Show it to me, man. Show it to me, 2K. I don't want to celebrate just yet. Please get off a black screen. 12-0 Galaxy Opal Kevin McHale. Are you kidding me? No way have we just got him on this account. What? Right, it is time to open up Galaxy Opal, Kevin McHale. 12 0 run has been completed. We went 3 0, we did three games in one stint, we then did one game on its own, and then we won eight games in a row in under two hours. At the first time of asking, we got through the diamond tier. We lost the first game. We were 0-1 in the diamond tier. We went 9-0 after that. We went 11-0 in the pink diamond tier. We went 12-0 at the first time of asking in the opal tier. And this is our reward. Galaxy Opal, Kevin McHale. Why does he look so... Why does he look like an absolute... Why is he so big? <laughs> Why is he so big? What the hell? I know he's... Is he like 6'11"? Why is he so big? Is this standard? I don't know. He looks like an absolute giant. We can now sell Dino Raja, which frees up like 70k in the club. And we've got it. 12-0 completed. First time this year getting a 12-0 run done. Alright, hopefully you guys have enjoyed that. I still, I still can't believe it happened. I still can't believe. First time of asking. Like, that is ridiculous. We get a little oak four out of these packs here. So we are going to now go ahead and kit him out. I've got all the badges ready to go. I've got him a very, very nice diamond shoe ready to go. 
And uh, yeah, we have already sold our Amethyst Dino Roger, which is a bit sad, not gonna lie. Dino was very good, but there's a new big man in town, and uh, he just is a Galaxy Opal. No, he just is Galaxy Opal Game Macau. I can't believe it. If you guys came through to that stream, then thank you so much, because there was no rage at all. I was I kept my head in all eight games, which is incredible. Like, for, ooh, oh, Amethyst. Uh, which for me, doesn't usually happen. We usually get a little bit tilted at this game when people start playing certain ways, but if you guys don't know how I play, we went 12-0, or we did the 67 wins, no 5 out, no curry slide, and no speed boosting as we get a KD right there. None of that cheese. None of those abusive mechanics. Didn't need any of them, didn't use any of them, and we still got 12-0, proving that it can be done. Right, first things first, let's just go ahead and cash in some MT. So, I went ahead earlier and I sold all of my diamond shoes. We've got loads in the club and as you can see right here, not a lot of them had any value in the slightest. So we sold all these, a few of them have value. Air Jordan uh, 16's right there selling for 8K, that's quite nice. A few of them didn't even sell, so I'm gonna have to relist them at another time. And then Medina Raja sold for 80K, which is a bit sad, not gonna lie, uh, but that is what I put him up for, so I don't know what I was expecting. Uh, he did have the Kobe's, uh, Kobe 6 defensive shoe on him. He had clamps, he had Inceptor, so really, really kitted out. Uh, we had some new balance shoes selling for 4.5k, Curry, not, uh, Curry 4 selling for 3k, and then we sold Sean Bradley and Manu Ginobili. I don't know why they were still in my club, but they were, so we've sold them. So we're going to be back at 250k after we cash in these, I think, which is not bad, but we did spend quite a bit on badges for Mikhail. I didn't realise it, but he really doesn't come with a... Uh, that many badges. He's got quite a few, but there's still quite a lot of badges that he needs adding to him. Right, so let's go ahead, and this is now our team. So this is a team we used to go 12-0, obviously with the exception of Mikhail. Uh, we had Dwayne Wade, Rudy Fernandez, Anton Jameson, Bobby Jones, Dino Raja, and off the bench, Dame Dollar, Kobe, and D12. But realistically, it was just a starting lineup that played most of the games. We just have these guys down here in case, one, we get injuries, or if we needed some like insane defense. And obviously we've got D12 here in place of uh, in place of Dino, but yeah, he's here. He's here, and I still can't believe it. So he is coming in at six foot ten. He has a seven foot ten or seven foot eleven wingspan, I think. My man's got those extendo arms, and then he comes. And this is before we've done anything to him. Seventeen Hall of Fame, twenty six gold, and one silver. So Hall of Fame badges: corner shoot, corner shooter. Catch and shoot, corner specialist, just combining those. Rim protector, heart crusher, intimidator, rebound chaser, and then gold badges. He comes with clamps, he comes with giant slayer, not that that really matters. Hot zone hunter, and of course range extender, and then silver dimer. Stats wise, 90 driving layout, 85 driving dunk, 93. Mid range at 95. Ball controls at 86. Defense, 95. Block, 95. Interior defense, 94. 95 rebounding. 88 lateral quickness and 94 uh, strength with 87 speed and 87 acceleration. So first things first, let's go ahead and put a diamond shoe on this card. And it's going to be the same shoe that I had on my Dino Raja, the Kobe 6 Grinch shoe, the defensive variation. And look at this now, 99 block, 93 perimeter defense and 99 interior defense with a uh, with 60 steel, which is completely irrelevant, but 93 lateral quickness as well. God damn. And then badges. Let's go. Let's talk what we're going to do for this card. So Dimer, obviously straight up to gold. Easy stuff. And then we actually had some decisions to make about which six badges uh, to put on this card. So Pogo is definitely one of them. Quick first step without a shadow of a doubt is one of them. I think one of the badges, downhill is definitely one of them. One of the badges that we were kind of umming and arming over was fast break finisher. Uh, flexible release obviously needs to go on him, and then I think the other two are Slithery Finisher would have been another one that wouldn't have been too bad on him, and then Deadeye as well. So he doesn't have Bailout, uh, which is quite a nice badge, but here we go. These are the six that I'm going to go with. Pogo, Showtime, Deadeye, Downhill, Quick First Step, and Flexible Release. Now, some of these badges were pretty damn expensive, like... <laughs> I think Flexible was quite a lot, Deadeye was quite a lot, but I actually managed to snipe a gold Deadeye, which usually goes for like 10k, for 2.5k, so that was a really, really good price. Um, this is just going to take him to another level, like he's already ridiculous. But these six badges right here, it's going to make his shooting so much better with down here, uh, down here with Deadeye and Flexible. Um, and then Pogo 6 is going to help him out massively on the defensive end. Quick First Step is just one of those badges that you really need to have on pretty much every card. And there we go. 
badges are sorted. So what's he running now? 33 gold, 17 Hall of Fame badges. And look at his team now. And this is before we've even got Clay. Uh, not Clay. Why Leonard? We're going to have Kawhi in the two. This team is stupid. I can't believe it. In terms of the players, in terms of like who played the best for me during that 12-0 run, look no further than Pink Diamond, Bobby Jones. If you guys don't know where he came from, he is a Pink Diamond reward card. And if you don't have him yet, please do yourself a favour and go and get Bobby Jones. Put him at the power forward position. Get him kitted out. Put a three-point shoe on him. Put some badges on him. He is so good. Whenever he was in the corner, it was money. He just did not miss and our team now is pretty much all original owner cards with the exception of d12 and uh kobe down here and really fernandez here but of course as soon as Kawhi comes in we're gonna have a full starting lineup of original owner untradeable cards we've got 200 and just shy of 250k in the bank and obviously we've still got so much mt in range extender investments and right now prices are up prices are looking good and i think people are slowly preparing themselves for the potential of a Galaxy Opal Yao Ming coming Friday, which does not have range. So about 10k there. Again, you can about 10k. And I think gold is a little bit cheaper. I paid 5.5-6k, so we can make big boy profit off of these badges. Do I want to do it now? Not just yet. And I have done some other investing in silver intimidators. And I would say this is a pretty safe investment right about now. Silver uh is what silver and gold is what Westbrook is going to need when he comes out this Friday, of course, from Limited. A lot of people are going to be getting their hands on this Russell Westbrook card, and he comes off for it with Bronze Intimidator. So I think a lot of people are going to be wanting silver and gold. So if you can pick up silver Intimidators for about 4,000 MT, I think that's a really good price, and I don't think you can really lose MT on that. Like, it's such an important badge. I don't see at any point in the year it going much cheaper than that. So a little investment tip for you boys if you made it to this part of the video. Silver Intimidators, get them for like 4k uh, or under 4k and you should be sitting pretty. Of course, for me, I don't need to worry about that because we're not going into limited. So we've got nine days left of the season. We've completed triple the offline. We've completed unlimited. We're going to complete limited. Like if I wanted to, I could get the ring, but obviously we're going to choose not to. Triple the online, I've gone through seven boards now and not seen a single pink diamond. So screw that. Nothing we can do about that. Um, spotlights, we didn't really do much this season, but we're going to do Wally to see what he's like. And then Domination, yeah, still need, a, still need to do a lot for that. So the main focus now for the end of the season is just getting Kawhi done. So we're going to have one video with this Hall of Fame badge. We're going to have a video, obviously, with Kawhi Leonard. We're going to have a video with the Limited Hall of Fame badge as well. And I think we'll do a video talking about my 12 and 0 run and talking about how I play, the tactics I use, the players I used. Uh, the things you could look you should look for in your teams because now we've actually done it. I feel like I talk about it. Uh, now we've done it first time of asking as well. Uh, now next season when we see the unlimited reward, which is going to be coming out uh, next Friday, season five, ridiculous. We can look at that card and think we've got a chance to get it, which is scary, and I cannot believe that, guys. If it hasn't come across. I can't believe it. So that is going to do it for today's video, guys. I hope you have enjoyed Galaxy Opal, Kevin McHale. 12 and 0 on a no money spent account. Mad. So that's good to do it. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace.